Cheap Thrills. Nate? Na Hello? <clears throat> Nate! A-aka Tabasco Sweet? He told me to meet him here. I don't... Do, do you guys know him? Sorry. <laughs> I'm like a DJ. I don't have all day. Well, I, I do, but... I come to the conclusion that Nate's dead. I'm gonna yell now. Nate! Nate's ghost! If you want me to take over for you, just say nothing. All right, I got this. I won't let you down, buddy. Sup, family? It is I, Nate, I'm Churdlis, and I am gonna be taking over Cheap Thrills today. Wow, do, don't we have something in store for you? Might I add a quick disclaimer that Nate has died. He died, and you're gonna have to get over that. It's me now, I'm gonna be hosting because Nate has Churdlis? died and you're gonna have to what are you doing here, dude? I thought you died. Dude, you're like two hours early. I thought you died. We yeah. all thought you died. I'm happy to see you too, bud. Yeah. Is this, are you wearing my little pump jacket? <laughs> yeah. All right, just sit down, just sit down. All right, but you gotta switch me spots, oh, okay, dude. This okay. is my show. This is yeah. really hot too, I'm gonna take it off. Anyway, what's up, family? It's your boy, Nate, AKA Tabasco Sweet. And you're watching Cheap Thrills. You already know what it is. Well, as you can see by popular demand, I'm joined by my boy today, Sherdley's. Hey, guys. <clears throat> anyway, you guys kept hitting me up, asking me to bring in Sherdley's and do some DIY Heelys. Dreams do come true, family. And we've got the internet's number one Heelys expert here. Now, my man Sherdley's... My friends call me Cheb. You have friends? Cheb. Knows his way around a pair of Heelys. Why don't you show him what you're rocking today, my guy? Okay. <clears throat> Brand spanking new. <clears throat> it's all right, I think I'm gonna be sick. <clears throat> okay, my boy Oliver Tree told me that you're like the number one Heelys expert guy and you come into my house and you're wearing Crocs? Who are you? Gary? You're wild for this one, sure, Lise. I mean, Chubb. You don't walk around everywhere with your Heelys on. It ruins the bearings. I got them right here in my back sack. Sorry. Now that's what I'm talking about. These are some fully slammed rigs. All right, so Chubb, I mean, you wanna give us a rundown, a little tech spec on these bad boys? So every Heely is styled differently. You pick what you want. Go about your life, okay? This is what the important part is. Now this is the wheel. If you're riding on that smooth concrete, you're gonna know that you're gonna need a replacement. These are interchangeable, don't worry. You could plop them out whenever you need to and interchange them with other ones. They plop out, <clears throat> they plop out quite easily. And this part right here is very important because this is the brake. If you're hopped up on soda and going faster than a gazelle, you lean back and you brake with these bad boys. All right, well, I mean, thanks for the walkthrough. <laughs> so pretty much it looks like we need a basic sneaker with a thick sole, carve out a little area for a wheel back here, and just wheels and bearings. Oh, I got this, this is easy. So are you ready for this? I mean, do you have any DIY experience? I teach people things all the time. Well, it seems like we have a common goal here. We're just trying to help you live your best life, family. And that's why today, we're gonna show you how to bless your feet with the most unhinged, fully freak mode Heelys you've ever seen. Now, my boy walked in today wearing those just terribly hideous Crocs, but gave me a little inspo. Got your boy thinking. We need to slam his rig. We need to get his clout up, family. Now, before we get started, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to read your clout. I'm honestly a little scared because you don't look like you're in good condition, but uh, let, let's get a reading. Put your foot up on the table for me. All right, here we go, family. Oh man, this is even worse than I thought, family. The boy ain't right. Your clout is in critical condition. It's an easy fix, though. We just need to swap your Crocs 
with a base we can actually work with. Wow, talk about a fuego alert. Somebody needs to call 911. I mean, look at these things. Are you seeing this? Be careful, real ones only burn backwards. Are you saying you're gonna turn these bad boys into Heelys? Cheb, that's exactly what I'm saying. These clout levels you're about to experience are gonna be way more than you can probably handle. I mean, are you ready? I, I, I don't know, you're putting a lot of pressure on this. I, I don't think so. Cheb, wrong answer. You're in the clout dungeon now. There's no turning back. By the time we're done, you're gonna be a certified flex offender. Let's get it. So here's what you're gonna need. An A clamp and a large sponge. Two pairs of flame crocs. Two wheels and some super glue. Some black electrical tape and your trusty blades. As you can see, we've got our flame croc bases ready to go in each of our sizes, cause obviously we're gonna be matching. It's the mommy and the baby. Anyway, I'm gonna speed right through this, cause you've seen me do this before in the Gucci Sega video. We're just gonna remove the top from the sole. I'm just gonna use this marker to draw a line for max precision. So Cheb, yeah. how long have you been making YouTube videos? Uh, like two years or so, yeah. I, I know my way around uploading a video. <laughs> Not as cool as PewDiePie, but you know. Well, I mean, by the time we're done with this, you have way more clout than PewDiePie. Ooh. I guarantee it. Tight, got my guidelines locked in, I'm ready to get cutty. Wait, can I try that? You sure you know your way around a blade? I have my Cub Scout merit badge for knife handling. <laughs> he sounds very qualified. Thank you so much. So you f with people a lot in your videos. Has anyone ever gotten like really mad at you? Yeah, one guy, I, 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 he got, I guess he got peeped at like how cool I was skateboarding and everything and he just like threw my skateboard across the dang concrete. Luckily I just picked it up and moved on my way, I turned the other cheek, but I could have threw down if I wanted to really. Oh, mess with my boys, you're gonna catch some hands. You got hands, Shirley's? <laughs> Moisturize every day. Very clean. <clears throat> Looks like you're kind of struggling with your uh, Eagle Scout knife skills there. Maybe you should let me take the wheel for a second. <laughs> or take the heel for a second. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. All right, so I'm just finishing cutting along this line and then we'll be able to dig our hole out for our wheel. I noticed in a lot of your videos, you're always screaming and shit. Like, you got some pipes. You, you know how to get some volume, I mean. Do you ever calm down? So like I said, I'm a <laughs> dramatic actor and some of my favorite soap opera scenes, they're, they're yelling a lot, you know? They're really getting out that drama. So I chug a Mountain Dew Baja Blast to get kind of hyped up, get that caffeine going in my blood. Whoa, Baja Blast? My guy. What's your favorite dollar menu item? Bean and cheese burrito, high protein, high performance. Very clean. I'm more of a crunch wrap supremacist, but anyway, I got lost in the T-bill for a second. As you can see, I've cut out the sole for my flame crocs, and I drew a little box here so we know where to cut out the chamber for our wheel. Now, for those of you that are doing this at home, this part's gonna take a little muscle. It's kind of rough cutting through here, so that's why I'm doing this part. No offense, Cheb. Well, but, uh, I would say arm wrestle, but I have nothing to prove, so. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> I got a pass. Anyway, you're gonna use that hacksaw and cut the sponge in half. So the sponge is gonna be kind of like our Yeezy boost action. We're gonna put it in between the sole and the platform, give us a little more cushion. Sorry, SpongeBob. Dude, how did I beat you? I mean, you're cutting a sponge. I, I got this like really rough sole here. This is a fun size saw it's for babies. I didn't know it was a competition. There we go, see? Next, I'm gonna super glue this sponge into the sole to give it a little boost. This will fill in the gap between our sole and our regular shoe. And I'm just gonna lay down a coat of glue. Next, we're gonna super glue our wheel to the back of our base shoe. You wanna make sure that your wheel is placed correctly so that it fits through the hole you've made. So now we're gonna put some glue on the bottom of our base shoe and sandwich it together. So Shirley's, I was peeping your Instagram. I didn't even really have to dig deep and I already have so many questions. I mean, what's up with this pic you posted one day ago? You like hang out with these girls that have these beautiful 
personalities. What's up with that? Well, I was just like sitting there minding my own beeswax and then I was just taking a little selfie and then they come by and they're like, oh my gosh, and they step on my head and like they're kind of like posing in the background. It's like I just wanted to take a very humble selfie. And then they just, they kind of, they took, they kind of camera hogged it. Damn, that's a harsh toke, family. Now we're gonna clamp our shoes together so they can set properly. But to make sure we don't scratch our sick ass design, we're gonna put a paper towel on there. All right, now's your chance to show your strength, my guy. You got it, you can do it. All right, well let's set these things aside to dry. You've got a little more explaining still uh, to do about your freaky ass Instagram posts. Like uh, these cargo pants, for instance. Explain. Uh. Well, you're gonna need a lot of pockets if you wanna carry around all your cool gadgets and stuff like that. Uh, you need the kazoo, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. And also, got that Batman wallet, because Batman's just a normal guy, but he's also super cool just like me. And you got a place to keep your allowance in, if you know what I mean. Whoa. Allowance? Yeah. Damn, all my white friends are rich. Um, well, I'm French, but yeah. And you need to carry on your extra Healy wheels, of course. And also, if you need a chill pill, just sit back and relax. That. All right. All right, time to check up on our progress. Seems like they're almost technically dry, but still need a few minutes. Gives us enough time for facts, family, with Professor Basco. The year was 1998. 1998. That was a good year. That's when the Backstreet Boys rose to stardom and released their album, Millennium. Damn, that album's got some serious slappers on it, family. I want it that way. Tell me why. All right, all right, okay. Anyway, back to the cold hard facts. So this guy, Roger Adams, mental health supervisor. He's going through a divorce with his wife of 21 years. He's all burnt out at work. He's got three kids. A lot of shit on this guy's plate. So on one sunny Southern California day, our boy's daydreaming and he's thinking, what if there's a shoe with a wheel and I could just wheel away from all my feels? Healy away from my feelings. Precisely, my guy. So that's when he left his wife and his three kids to do something much more important, invent Healy's. So he DIY'd the prototype using a pair of old Nikes. He's an OG cheap thriller. So after two years of perfecting his technique, he finally patented these bad boys in the year 2000, and he named them Heelys. Needless to say, these things were an overnight success. The hype is real, family. Now Heelys started getting banned from schools pretty quickly because a study in 2007 showed 51 out of every 100,000 kids got injured. Not everyone has a license to shred. You know who does have a license to shred? Usher. When he used it in his music video, you don't have to call back in 01. And you know, Usher's not the only famous person rocking Heelys either. I heard Shaq commissioned six custom pairs of Heelys in size 22. Damn, and I thought I had big feet. Now Heelys will run you anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks, depending on how slammed the rig is. But let me tell you something, Roger Adams never made them like these. This has been Facts with Professor Basco. These shoes are fully set and they're technically dry. It's time to remove the clamp and seal off these gaps with our tape. So did you go through any like crazy phases in middle school? I mean, I had a bit of an emo phase. What about you? Um, yeah, the cyber goth phase. Oh, what? Yeah. You got some moves for us? Oh yeah, yeah, you want to show me right here? Let's see these moves. Show me what you got. Give me that cyber goth shit. Cool. Well, let me start over. Very clean. <sighs> Thank you. Damn, I was mesmerized by those moves back there, my guy. I mean, I forgot what I was doing. I get, I gotta get back to taping. <sighs> and there you have it, family. Matching pair of the most unhinged, fully freak mode, Healy Flame Crocs. I mean, look at these things. You ever seen anything like this before? Are, are we gonna ride these bad boys? I'm sweating here. First things first, man, like, we gotta get you fitted. We gotta get your rig slammed. You can't go out looking like that. Okay, first things first, like, these pukas, man, gotta go. What are you, like, 90s Keanu Reeves? This isn't Point Break, man. 
But it's all right, I got you something because I was pretty inspired by your cyber goth dancing, so got you a very clean and classic ball chain. Very clean, you're looking much better, but uh, these optics, I don't know, fam. I mean, you got any shades or anything? Whoa, now those are very 3017. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Next level, my guy. We're almost there, but I know just the thing to cap this look off. It's fuego season, baby. <sighs> Damn, honestly, you're, you're like a whole new person right now. Let's take another clout reading. When you first came in here, you were a clout peasant, but now? Whoa, your numbers are through the roof, my guy. You're like a legend right now. I got you a present too. Whoa, really? Yeah. Some jewelry. So with the bling and style. Damn. Is this a ring pop? Yes, it is. Pinky's on Glacier family. Cheers. Cheers. All right, well, it's time to field test these things. You know what that means. It's time for Sweet on the Street. Well, that went well, as expected. We are freaking shredding out there. But how did you feel about it, Chubb? Yeah, did you see those girls staring at me? Uh, I must have missed that. You must have. Well, if you guys think we crushed it with these custom Fuego Alert Heelys, go ahead and give us a yuh in the comments. But if you think these are total trash and we should throw them away in the trash, then give us a nah. But I must warn you, you're wrong. Well. It's been great having you on the show, man. Any last words for the Cheap Fiddles fam? Yeah, just stop saying cool beans and don't don't comment cool beans or anything like that. It's just been spamming my feed lately. And... All right, you heard the man. <clears throat> Stay boosted, family. Till next time, gang gang. gang. Thanks for watching, Cheap Thrills fam. Who else is gonna keep you as threaded as your boy? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share your grandma, share your mom, share your cousins. Click here for some more heat. Make sure to tune in every Tuesday for some more wholesome times with your boy.